When consumers are shopping for a compact car, most of them just want a safe, roomy, fuel efficient and reliable piece of transportation. While some people want more than just vanilla ice cream, they also want more sprinkles on top of it too. And this is where the Mazda 3 comes in, a compact car that satisfies most of consumers' needs but also provides a little more spice in the driving experience over most of its rivals. So let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Mazda 3. Now styling on the Mazda 3 is a very strong selling point for the vehicle and it's certainly one of the best looking compact cars in the class. Now it has the Kodo design language that you will find on many other Mazdas and it's very sharp and aggressive in its styling. Love the front grille too and it's very imposing and it certainly has a huge presence and then on some trims you can get LED daytime running lights which looks great on the road on this vehicle. And then our model of the three we have here is the sedan model and it's also the Grand Touring which comes with a host of luxury goodies such as a leatherette interior, a moonroof, as well as push button start. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. It's a smart key of course. And you have your remote keyless entry, your lock, unlock, to release your trunk, and then your panic button. Now for the 2016 model year, changes are pretty minimal. Essentially the SV trim level has been dropped, so the 3i Sport trim is now the base model. Mazda has also added more standard features this year, such as a rear view camera. And then automatic headlights, automatic wipers, and a sunroof are now standard on trim levels higher than the Sport. Now it is the sole red metallic exterior color, with smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. Then you have a black leatherette interior with red contrast stitching. Power driver's seat with power recline. Now stepping on inside of the three here, the step in height is fairly low and you're greeted with one of the best looking and one of the sportiest looking cabins in the compact car class. It certainly does not feel cheap inside of here. It feels upmarket. Now you do a push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. Full leather wrapped steering wheel with red contrast stitching. Coming to your transmission you have the optional 6 speed automatic with manual shiftability. Putting the vehicle into reverse, of course, displays your rear view camera with guidance lines. No trajectory, however. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights. And you also do have fog lights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have blind spot detection on this vehicle. Halogen projector beam headlights with your halogen fog lights. Now the Mazda 3 was also last redesigned in the 2014 model year. Very sharp and aggressive and bold looking front end here. Now under the hood you have your base powertrain which is a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine that produces 155 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 150 pound feet of torque at 4000 rpm. It also has Mazda's famous Sky Active technology. There's also an optional 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine available that produces a lot more power. And then you're looking at EPA estimates of 30 in the city and 41 on the highway, which is excellent fuel economy numbers here. Certainly one of the best in the class. Now pricing for the three starts at the Sport model, which starts at $17,845. The Touring starts at $20,045. And then the Grand Touring starts at $22,545. And then the S touring starts at $24,795. You can also choose from the sedan model or the hatchback model and then you could choose between the 2 liter 4 cylinder engine or a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder. 
Now competitors for the three of the vehicles in the compact car class, this includes the likes of the Ford Focus, Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Volkswagen Jetta, Nissan Sentra, Chevrolet Cruze, and the Dodge Dart, as well as the Subaru Impreza. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have rear reflectors, LED third brake light, and a shark fin antenna. Now total vehicle price for this particular three is $24,715. Like I said, EPA estimates are $30 in the city and $41 on the highway. All of your basic power necessities, power windows, door locks, and your power mirrors. Build quality and materials inside of the Mazda 3 here are excellent. And it certainly feels upmarket inside of here, very upscale too. Now, Coming up to the upper door panel, it's slightly padded. The mid door panel is nice and soft touch as well as the armrest. Coming up here over the instrument panel, it's hard touch plastic. And then this portion of the dash is slightly padded as well. The graining of the plastics are really nice inside of this vehicle. They don't feel cheap and scratchy feeling. On this portion of the dashboard, it's slightly padded as well. Coming down here, hard touch plastic. But like I said, the graining of the plastics are nice. And then coming to the center console, it is also nice and soft touch. I love the red contrast stitching too. Gives it more flair inside of here. Build quality is excellent inside of the Mazda 3. I can't find any panel gaps inside of here. None of the interior trim and pieces creak a whole lot and they fit very well together. Overall I'm very impressed with the interior of the Mazda 3. Still impressive after two years of being in this generation. Now coming to the steering wheel design, the steering wheel is fairly stylish. Fairly sporty looking too with the red contrast stitching. And then coming to your controls, you have your steering wheel mounted on your controls, voice recognition, Bluetooth phone controls, and then this info button right here controls your information center which is on the dash which I will get to in just a second. Over here we have your cruise control buttons. Adaptive cruise control is also optional on the Mazda 3. We also do have manually tilting and telescoping for the steering wheel. Decent range of adjustment there. Coming over here we have your traction control off button and then your blind spot detection button too. Now, as far as visibility goes in the 3, visibility is average in the class. It certainly isn't the best, but seeing out of the front windows is okay. The A-pillar isn't too thick. It's actually kind of thin. Um, seeing out of the windshield is pretty good too, but when you get to rearward visibility, it is compromised due to a really thick C-pillar, and then also the rear windows are kind of small back there too. Now, coming up here, we have your auto-dimming rearview mirror sunglass container and then your sunroof with your sunroof controls and then you have your mirror coming down here we also do have a little storage pocket and then dual cup holders coming to the center console this is where you will find two USB charging ports, an SD card slot, an auxiliary input, and a 12 volt power outlet. And you also have this little tray right here. And then you have your parking brake. Now the AC controls in the Mazda 3 are very simple and easy to use. It's a very clean looking layout here. Now we do have dual zone automatic climate control. You have your temperatures on the driver's side right here. and then. The passenger side and then you have your fan speeds different zones of course front window to froster rear window to froster or in your recycling mode but big knobs and buttons and very clear and easy to read here and then up here we also do have your three staged heated seats for the driver and the front passenger and another nice little luxury touch that we have in the Mazda 3 is rain sensing windshield wipers not a common feature in the compact car class now coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster here, love the gauges. However, 
I do have one little small gripe, and that is the tachometer is kind of small, I have to say. I wish they would make it a little bit bigger. But overall, they're fairly stylish in the way they're presented. Now, the tachometer's right here, and then you have your odometer too right there. Coming in the center, we have your speedometer. And then coming to the right, that's your information center. It shows you your exterior temperature readout, your average speed, fuel gauge too, fuel range as well. And your average MPG, current MPG, all that good stuff. Pretty basic information there though. Now the seats in the Mazda 3 are very comfortable and very supportive as well. Great for going on long road trips as well as going around twisty canyon roads. These seats will certainly hold you in place. And the side bolstering is excellent on these seats as well as the thigh support too. And I love how they don't feel very firm. They're actually pretty plush feeling. Now coming to the infotainment system and the multimedia interface here, this is a 7 inch touchscreen display. Now you can either control it by touching it or by the dial and the buttons surrounding it too. And then this is what you will find in upmarket German vehicles usually. Now coming to the home button, this is the home screen right here, and basically you can Go to Applications, Entertainment, Communication, Navigation, and then your Settings. Let's go to Applications. Now basically, you have your HD radio traffic map. This vehicle has live traffic. And then I love how the Mazda 3 also has this back button right here too. Which helps out a lot. You also do have a fuel economy monitor. It gives you a little bar graph your maintenance, tire rotation, oil change. Then you have your warning guidance too. Coming back to the home screen, we have your entertainment, all of your basic media sources from AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, AHA, Pandora, Stitcher, Bluetooth, streaming audio, and then your USB port with iPod integration, and then you have your auxiliary input. And I love how they put all the audio sources in one list and they don't just put the radio stations in one and then the other media sources in one they have all of the media sources that and audio sources that you can access from we also do have a CD player too with your optical disk drive and then you also do have HD radio on this bad boy auto memory you can favorite your radio station have your presets all that good stuff Coming to communication, this is for your Bluetooth phone. You can connect your phone, have your contacts stored on here, view your call history, view text messages too, have your favorite contacts. And you also do have navigation, but this one is not equipped with the navigation system. However, I will tell you that the navigation system works pretty well on the Mazda 3 here. And it's one of the best in the business. Coming to settings, you can change many different settings from the system, if you want in day and night mode or automatic mode, brightness, contrast. Coming to safety over here, you have your blind spot detect monitoring volume, sound settings from your bass, treble, clock settings from your daylight savings time, time zone select, time format, vehicle settings from the rain sensing windshield wiper, turn signals, lighting. Bluetooth devices, you can connect your devices. Temperature, if you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Distance, if you want it in miles or kilometers. Language, you can change that too. All that good stuff. Overall, I really love this infotainment system and multimedia interface here. It's one of the best in the business. The resolution is great on the system, as well as the rendering and the graphics too. And it's very simple and easy to use. I prefer it over some... German infotainment systems and multimedia interfaces. Now if there's any particular area where the Mazda 3 stands out in the compact car class, it's certainly in its driving dynamics. Now the 2 liter 4 cylinder we have here produces enough power for this vehicle. Now it's not exhilarating, however if you do want more power you can go with that 2.5 liter 4 cylinder. And then made it with the 6 speed automatic it makes for a very responsive pair, and I'm glad it's not a CVT automatic that gives you that drone and it's always hunting for gears. 
but this automatic transmission is very responsive. With that being said, the steering and the handling capabilities on the Mazda 3 are excellent. This vehicle is very precise around corners and it's very responsive too. You really feel for where this vehicle is trying to go and it gives a lot of feedback to the driver. The ride quality isn't too bad, however, if you do go with the 18 inch wheels that are optional, the ride can get quite firm. However, for the most part, for most models, it's pretty agreeable in its ride quality. It's not the most plush ride quality in the class, however, it's pretty comfortable for most people. All right, and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Hard touch upper door panel still, and then mid door panel armrests are soft touch. Now space back here for the rear seat occupants is pretty average in the class. Now I have the driving position to where mine would be at, about six feet tall. And I have the okay amount of leg room, however there's not much leg room to spare. The headroom is okay back here, however. I will give them that. Now back here we also do have a single map pocket. And then we're center armrest with cup holders. The seats themselves are pretty comfortable, nice and plush, and very well supportive. However, if you're looking for the most spacious rear seat in the compact car class, then you want to go with the Volkswagen Jetta or the Toyota Corolla. Alrighty. Now trunk space back here in the three, it's pretty good. And then you can fold the rear seats down by pulling on these levers right here, 60-40 split. Overall, trunk space isn't too shabby. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment, nice and damp. So with its energetic driving dynamics, its fuel-efficient powertrains, and its upscale interior, as well as its daring and stylish looks, the 2016 Mazda 3 is one of the best choices in the compact car class. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.